Let's go on and talk about set operator. This operator is used in update methods in order to set a value of specific field or fields. If those fields already exist in the document, then values will be replaced with those we supply in the set value. Let's look at the example. Here is the example of the update method. Remember that update method needs at least two arguments. First, query, second, update object, and third, options. In this case, we have two arguments. First argument, index3, is just a query, so we are looking for documents with an index3. And next object, with a set operator inside, is an update object. And in this example, we set certain values of the fields. For example, cart ID will be set to 325, customer name, email and age will be set, and cart will be set to empty array. It's possible to use dot notation in fields name in the set operator. I mean customer.name or customer.email. In our example, we set whole contents of the customer field. That's why we don't use dot notation and use just document instead. Ok, let's go on and look at the examples in the MongoDB shell. Remember that we have shopping cart collection and we have inserted 5 documents inside of it. If you have not performed this action, please insert in the shopping cart collection 5 documents with indexes 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Ok, let's perform our first update operation. So let's replace find with update. Remember that update methods require at least two arguments. First query, second update object and third argument options is optional. So let's add all three arguments here. So first argument, second and third. And let's split them into different rows. In such way. Let's add comments here for each argument. So first argument is query. Second argument is update. And last argument update options. Optional. So let's create our first update request. Let's update document with an index 2, for example. This one. I will add index2 as a query and in update I will add dollar sign set operator and this operator needs an object. Ok, let's set several fields. For example, card ID, number int 325, just some random number. Then customer, customer will be an object, name. Mike Foster, for example, email mfoster at test.com and age number int 27, for example, and close this object. And finally, card just an empty array. And let's delete this line. Okay, again. We are looking for document with an index 2 and set certain fields card ID, customer with a document as a value and this document has three fields name, email and age and card field that is an empty array. We will not use any update options, you can just delete this part but let's leave it here. Ok, we are ready to go and let's execute this operation. Command enter. And here is the result at the bottom, updated one existing records. Ok, let's perform find operation. Let's open new shell. Just perform find operation. You can add query here, index 2 and execute this query. And here is our updated document. So you see card here, card ID and customer. 
Let's look at other documents in the collection. Just delete index2 query and execute, and you will see that other documents remained unchanged. So we have just changed one document. Ok, let's go on, and in the next section let's talk about unset operator. See you shortly.